so today we're gonna talk about how I got my first thousand subscribers on YouTube okay this is a bit of a journey so hang in there with me this is gonna be perfect if you are the person who you've had a YouTube channel or you've thought about having a YouTube channel for a while now right you've been trying to build this thing for a while and you're not really seeing much traction right like it's not really growing the way you thought this video is gonna be perfect for you so if you've been trying to build this thing for a while listen in so I started my YouTube channel in 2017. I started it doing wedding videos, talking about my wedding journey, and I also was doing a bit of academic life coaching because that's that was my career field. I was doing um, coaching for like um, high school students and um, like high school seniors and like college freshmen, college sophomores, helping them with their studies, helping them you know do all the things. So that's how my channel started and. I was doing pretty well i'm not gonna lie i had quite a bit of like followers i probably got to like maybe three to four hundred followers pretty quickly doing those two um those two categories or those two niches the problem was that i was super super inconsistent so i you know i would go through a period where i would record and post videos for like three months straight and then i would take three months off and so because of that i wasn't able to really gain the traction that i needed in order to build a following around either one of those topics the other thing is that the topics were so different i was talking about wedding planning and then i was also talking about how to study and tips and stuff like that and a lot of the kids the people that were watching me back then they were high school seniors or they were college freshmen right college sophomores they weren't thinking about weddings so I was talking to too many different people at one time with my videos so that's a little bit about how the channel started in 2017 it is 2023 my channel didn't hit a thousand followers until I believe somewhere around like August of last year that's when I hit a thousand followers and all of this was a very inconsistent growth so after I you know after 2017 where i was doing like academic coaching and stuff then i started I, I pivoted my channel into a couples channel and so me and my husband we were doing like different basically just vlogging on youtube and it was so much fun and that's when i realized why i was on youtube so that leads me to tip number one you have to know why you're on the platform if you don't know why you're on the platform you're gonna feel so like out of sorts with growing here for some of us we're on youtube simply to document our lives and if you're here just to document your life like i was then you don't have to worry about followers right you don't have to worry about subscribers because it doesn't matter like the whole point is that you're documenting your life you're documenting your growth and you will grow from that point point. and it may not be huge you may not have thousands upon thousands of followers but you will have a core group of people that are interested in what you have to say and so for me when i decided okay the point of this channel is for me to share and document my life like things became so much easier and i and i was able to relieve a lot of pressure for myself on how i showed up on youtube and so for me i just started doing things where i would create videos when we had time as a family when something fun was happening i would record a video and then i would post it and that is how my channel um kind of grew from that point point. and for me the biggest focus was being able to show these videos to my grandma um and then now that i have kids a lot of my videos especially the ones that feature my kids it's purely for the fact that years from now they'll be able to see what we did together and that is the whole point of a lot of those videos and so i want to say it's really important to know why you're on the platform and so if you are in the camp of okay i want to have a youtube channel to grow my business again you don't need thousands and thousands of subscribers for that you can have a, few, a couple of thousand maybe or you know even 500 subscribers just know why you're on the platform if you know why you're on the platform it'll help you better manage your expectations but also relieve a lot of pressure because unless you're on this platform to you know grow and be popular and get adsense or get brand deals you may not need as many followers as you think you do to actually build something that's really great or to actually create something that's worth watching right if it's for you know friends and family and um you know a small audience of people that you meet or like your social media following just to see like the behind the scenes of your life you don't need thousands of followers for that versus if you are trying to become a content creator and you want to have brand deals and stuff then at that point you may want to actually have more followers and subscribers and in that case girl you need to go follow somebody else because i can't even give you the tea on that one 
my channel is literally just the behind the scenes and just showing what works for me um so i just want to put that caveat out there um so that is tip number one so the second thing i did to grow my following is i tested out and tried different video formats so from the time that i first started here on youtube i was doing just like sit down talking videos then i started doing vlogs um then i started doing you know like hybrid of like vlog and sit down like you know i've tried different formats and different styles of doing my videos. I've even tried doing a video where it was like an educational video, but I had like, I made it vlog style, right? You want to test out different styles of videos because maybe your ideal audience, your ideal watcher enjoys a certain style of video, but you won't know that unless you test out different formats. And I feel like going up to like your first thousand subscribers, it's just going to be really crucial and really helpful to actually try different formats. One, to see what you like best, but two, to see what your audience is most responsive to now for me I've just gotten to a point where child I don't have time to do all the different things so I'm just gonna sit down with my little <laughs> face the camera I'll have a little bit of a little bit of b-roll here and there but I know that my audience more so cares about what I'm saying if it's a vlog they care more about seeing what's happening versus me doing like something super cinematic but for other audiences your audience may actually enjoy and prefer a more cinematic style of you know editing and and, and creating of your video so when speaking about different formats another thing that really helped me like this is the thing that really pushed me to the thousand mark and it was using new features from the platform so we say this about all the platforms and it's so true youtube i grew from like i want to say 750 subscribers to the thousand dollar um not thousand dollar to the thousand um subscriber mark simply by using youtube shorts and i don't even have a ton of shorts up i probably have like maybe 10 youtube shorts up but those shorts did so well and i got so many new followers from that and they're ideal followers and what i mean by this is these are people that i want to watch my current content remember when i first started my channel it was all about academic life coaching and wedding planning those those audiences they were younger they were wedding planning like it, it's nothing that i do currently so it's not relevant to where i am today luckily i, I could say probably my last like maybe 700 subscribers are people that are actually ideal subscribers because they're people that are interested in the things that I talk about now. They, they're interested in my faith. They're interested in my family. They're interested in my... So these subscribers, they're interested in my faith, my family, my business. Like these people, like the people that are following me now, they really are a part of my community. And so this is why the YouTube shorts really did well because I was speaking directly to the type of person that I wanted to watch my videos. So use any new features or like the latest features that they have, use them to your advantage because they really are like prioritizing them, especially because like they're competing with some of the other platforms that have short form content and all i did was repurpose i just repurposed content from somewhere else i don't know if that's going to work in the future but what i will say is um something that i've seen other people do on their channels is they will take clips from their longer videos and they will just put them as youtube shorts and i've seen that that has been a very effective thing for other creators on the platform something that i've heard um and i just heard it through the grapevine is that going forward in 2023 lives are going to be a really big thing so if you have the capacity to i would start doing live streams on this platform as well to grow i'm probably not going to do lives and be honest i'm probably not going to do lives because it's just not essential and i can't imagine what someone would want to see me going live for on this platform but that doesn't negate the fact that lives are going to be a um, increasing priority for this platform in 2023 something that i've been alluding to that has helped me grow this channel to a thousand subscribers has been knowing who my ideal subscriber is Keeps letting the baby cry. So once I figured out who I wanted my ideal subscriber to be, it became a lot easier for me to like come up with video topics and to know what I want to share and talk about on my channel. And also it helped me kind of shape what my vlogs were going to look like. Something that's been really interesting with me being on YouTube these last few years and like actually hitting a thousand subscribers is that I started to realize that the people that were watching my videos, um, they are actually like my clients, like people that are interested in my offers and services and they want to see the behind the scenes. And so I was able to basically reverse injury 
veneer and just figure out okay what kind of things would someone that like they also have a business or they also have kids um like what would they want to see like what kind of behind the scenes would they want to see or what kind of information would they want to know that is different from you know here are tips how to grow on social media right um well granted I, I, I recognize the irony that I'm doing like a video on how to get to a thousand subscribers but I'm really just like sharing my own personal experience with growing to this point and also hopefully like a little bit of encouragement if you are someone who you're wanting to do a YouTube channel but you're getting kind of caught up in you have to have you know x number of subscribers because I will say when I do have my seasons where I'm like I'm on fire for YouTube I'm posting I'm showing up I actually feel really confident and I know okay these are the type of videos that I want to create because I know who my ideal client is and I know what kind of questions they may have or I know like what kind of things they would want to see because I'm really clear on who they are and it doesn't take a ton of time right just really sit down and think like sit down on a piece of paper and ask yourself who do I want to watch my videos and why do they want to be here right why why would they want to subscribe and continue to show up and watch the videos that you create once you know that you can you can kind of create a little profile if you will of who your ideal subscriber is and name her right or name him what is their name? What? How old are they? Are they married? Do they have kids? What are their hobbies? You know, what? Where do they shop? What do they do for fun? What do like? What do they scroll or what do they type in the search bar inside of YouTube when they're looking for videos or when they're looking for someone? What is on their you know watch next or for you page? Right? Like, what is there that? maybe you also can create a video on that you can show up in their stuff. I have a couple of videos that have popped for me. One of them is like, um, I think it was like 40 days late on my period. That's a video that pops for me a lot. But then another video that pops for me is my 12 tips for um, working from home with a baby. That's a that's a video for me that has just popped so huge. And that, both of those videos bring in my ideal subscriber. So you wanna think about those things when you are um trying to grow to your first thousand subscribers if that's a goal for you right um you want to think about who is your ideal subscriber who's your ideal viewer so that's really how i got to my first 1000 subscribers i started out kind of doing all the things i was all over the place then i got really clear on who my ideal subscriber was and why they were coming to my channel and once i got clear on that i was able to create videos that really just kind of appeal to who they are and what stage they were in i also was really clear about why I was on the platform and so because of that I was able to basically release the pressure of oh man like I'm not seeing the traction that I want to see because there really wasn't like it wasn't that big of a deal it was really for my own purposes and for me to connect with my clients right my potential clients out there so that was the whole point behind that it took me what 2017 to now like five years it took me five years to hit a thousand subscribers but I can I can name several like tons of clients that have come to me saying I saw your video on YouTube about X, Y, and Z and that's why I really want to work with you or I saw you did a video about this and I want to talk more about this in our coaching session today or whatever right so my videos have been able to be a great conversation starter between myself and my clients and give my my you know people that are interested in working with me give them a really good inside look of what it's like to work with me or what my life may be like behind the scenes so you know if they're talking to me on Voxer they can imagine what that looks like because they've seen vlogs of me on Voxer with my kids so um, over the course of you know five years I've really just kind of learned different little things about YouTube but also I've been able to see just how much fun you can have on this platform when you release the pressure of you know you have to have so many followers in order to do x y and z the other thing that i want to say and i want to kind of mention a couple of things one gear when it comes to gear use what you have if you look at my videos from last year a lot of them are shot on my g7x um, my canon g7x and it's like a little point and shoot or i shoot them on my my iphone and um, i have like an iphone 10 then i use this mic now because i just really enjoy like nice um, audio quality um, but you can also use the the audio that comes straight out of any camera that you use so I will say like gear it's not a big deal I still edit all my videos on iMovie I know a lot of people use Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere and all that kind of girl I don't have time for that like I'm gonna use iMovie because it's free it came with my laptop and I've been using it since 2017 and until I feel like learning something else I'm just gonna leave it leave it be where it is so that is what I use for gear something else that I want to mention is about commitment so whenever I've had like a video pop like a video do well it's because 
I was in a season where I was being super committed and by committed I mean I was like showing up and making a video every single week for like three months and then I don't know where one of those videos would like pop and then when that video would pop I would make other videos that kind of pointed back to that video so that's like the one strategy that I have used over the past five years that have helped me get to this point and I recognize that like for some people they're like five years it's not like great to you know hit a thousand subscribers but it really is when I think about how much money I've made you know as a result of my YouTube videos when I think about how many people have you know really connected with my message who have joined my communities and all that kind of stuff it really is like a really good thing to have experienced and I'm really grateful for the thousand people that you know at whatever time they watched my videos they watched them and I'm really grateful for that and so one thing I'll say is that like commitment is so important if you're wanting to continue to grow on this platform and if this is going to be like your platform of choice so if you're one of those people where it's been a while like maybe you've been trying to do YouTube for the past two years and you're only at 200 subscribers you can get to a thousand this year if you want to by just being committed and once you commit once you see a video pop off the strategy is once the video pops off you need to create other videos that are like offshoots of that main one so for example i did a video that went it didn't go viral but i did a video that did really well and it was about um you know 12 tips to help you um to help you uh, work from home with a baby and then i did other videos that basically pointed back to that video so i did a video on you know like um like a day on my life like how i you know juggle three businesses right and from that video i would point people back to the 12 tips right so you want to make sure that once you have a video that pops you create other videos that can point people back to that video and that video will continue to grow and you'll like that video will be recommended to people it'll be on like the explore page or the for you page whatever it's called um but like it'll be suggested to other people to watch that video and you'll be creating other more relevant topics so that once they watch that video now they'll go and binge all the other ones that are relevant to that video and the last thing i want to say um and i feel like what really helped me just grow this channel is don't be hard on yourself it took me five probably more than five years to get to a thousand subscribers but when i tell you like it wouldn't have been possible if i was hard on myself like it wouldn't have been possible i i think every year i would set a goal for like oh i want to hit you know a thousand subscribers on the youtube channel knowing good and well that like it really wasn't that big of a deal for me um and i know that sometimes it's easier said than done but right now when you are building up and this is how i feel about my channel as i've built up to this 1000 you know subscriber point i feel like this was just me testing right this was just me playing around and making mistakes and you know feeling forward and all the different things like i've had some videos that like people really didn't like and it helped me realize like okay this is this is what people like on this platform and this is what they don't and it like I've, i have a video actually that did pretty well but it did bad because like the video was viewed a lot but people didn't like it like people gave me feedback they didn't like the video and it's just like oh okay got it um so there's so much that you learn on the journey to like the first thousand that i feel like a lot of times we want to skip and we want to have like ten thousand or you know a hundred thousand people you know subscribers and it's like but there's so much to learn in this journey to a thousand and so i'm really grateful for this journey even if it took five years and even if i don't get another subscriber like i'm still really happy with the thousand people that i have i'm really happy with the people that do watch my videos because like i said a lot of times it's my clients or it's people that are thinking about working with me and so this just gives you like a behind the scenes look of how it really look uh, about how you know my life looks and about how working with me looks and for me that's the most important thing and then also again the other thing about my channel is that this really is about me documenting a lot of my memories right a lot of my memories for my kids and a lot of memories for myself just to see like my own personal growth and my own personal development and so because of that I'm able to like really relieve or release that pressure and so I really want to encourage you like if you're not trying to be like a content creator or an influencer relieve or release the pressure to have to get a thousand subscribers in you know 90 days or whatever the goal might be like release that and instead really look at it as the experience that it is and as the learning opportunity that it is because one day you could very well wake up with a thousand subscribers and then the next day wake up with a hundred thousand subscribers like it's happened to people and you don't want it to happen when you're not prepared and when you haven't you know kind of built up like that 
tougher skin for more eyes to be on you because I will say that video that I did that went well but people hated it like that definitely gave me a little bit of thicker skin um I had people like that were like you know sending me messages like girl like this was just terrible you know and it helped me develop like a little bit of thicker skin so that if I do have a video that does really well I feel like I'll be able to handle it you know pretty decent if people say stuff because it's like okay I've experienced a couple of times where people haven't been um positively you know um influenced or or affected by one of my videos so um that's all I have to say don't think too hard about it I have plenty of people that will like comment on my stuff talk about something they hate I talk with my hands oh well you know so it's like <laughs> it is what like things happen things happen and it is what it is but I wish you the best of luck as you are on your journey to a thousand subscribers if that's your goal this is how I got there and I'm just super excited about this and I'm glad that I finally made this video it's been a few months um but I'm glad that I finally made this video because I feel like it's just it was a milestone that I really wanted to just kind of talk about and so I'm glad that I was able to do that and until next time I will talk to you later darling okay that was fun